as cars rush by and the sound of motorcycles make their way into the room here. I am finished with another painting and this one is decidedly cartoon-ish. A cartoon. I call them Winter Kinder. This was a this was a line of characters that I came up with a few years ago. Robert and I did some children's books based on characters that looked like this. We called them Winter Kinder. And I just did a bunch of pictures, but I did all of those pictures digitally. I did them on an iPad with a Procreate app, with the Procreate app. But this time it's a brush and watercolor. And just like, I just like the idea of recreating these characters for at least one card, because there will be 200 cards that I donate to the art auction to raise money for the, the kids at the St. John Lutheran Church here in Ocala. And so I'm donating 200 cards. This is card number 185. 185, I got 15 more to go. And I've got about two weeks to do it. So that sounds about right. It's about a card a day. So no problem there. But anyway, so I'll show you how I did this. And, um, and it was just kind of fun. It was a fun one. And it's a little bit later in the morning. It's probably why you hear all the activity out there. I hear sirens and motorcycles and garbage trucks and cars and yikes. It's a busy day out there. All right, let me show you how I painted this right now. made that might be a nice card for a child or f you know just just something fun and I like the idea of it the Salvation Army kind of idea so I'm gonna just start with some red and use that as my sketching color I guess we'll see so what we want is a let's do the face first I think the face is first um, so let's just make a simple, simple round face. There's our little round face. <laughs> I'll put a little round hat on him. Yeah, this is illustration 101. <laughs> I've done a lot of illustrations for children's books. Yeah, it doesn't have to be that dark. Most of my illustrations have been um, digital. I take um, an iPad and I use uh, Procreate and I do the children's illustrations that way. However, um, for these cards, since I'm not really illustrating a book, See the difference between a book and these cards is that these cards are really just for fun. The book usually has like several, like seven, 17, 16 or 17 illustrations in them. You know, so you gotta, gotta be careful to keep everything the same and you gotta be able, able to change things like right away. So. And everything is quick. Everything's got to be quick. So that's the that's the way it works with children's with with uh, illustrations. Got to be able to do them quick. Not that this isn't quick. This is quick. All right. There's our eyes. <laughs> I'm not so sure. I'm liking the idea of using red, but we'll see. Now let's make a huge very happy smile. This is very cartoon. Very cartoony. We want this to be a cartoon. There we go. And some eyebrows. He's very happy. I've actually done this similar picture 
before a um, little child ringing a bell. A little child ringing a bell for the Salvation Army. So that's what I'm basing this on a picture I did of my of one of my own. The Winter Kinder. I called them Winter Kinder Kids. <laughs> winter Kinder. Alright, let's get some big big old collar here. He's bundled up for winter. He's bundled up for winter. And he's got his little coat here. Dressed for the cold weather. I probably could have I probably could have used any color. I probably maybe could have used blue, I don't know. Just get him warm and bundled up. Warm and bundled up. And he's not gonna be in proportion. No, no, no. He's gonna be way out of proportion. So Let's give him a little quilted coat here. And he's got a little dog sitting by his side also. So I'm going to make sure that doggy's there. There's our doggy. <laughs> There's his ears. Oh, The other day I went to an event and there was a guy there who trains service dogs. The dog's name was Carver, and it was an amazing story he told us how, how he trains the dogs, but he doesn't keep them, so he has the dogs for months, I think sometimes even a whole year, and then he has to say goodbye to the dog, because it'll go to the, the eventual person who um, gets the dog, sometimes it's an older person or a veteran, or somebody. Yeah. I don't know if I could do that. I mean, I love the idea of having a dog. I would have a dog if I could. I've had dogs all my life. But when I got older, my last dog who died was named Who Baby. I named her Who, H-U. Don't ask me why. It was just one of those funny things when my son was younger. And, uh, Um, we named her Who, and I always called her Who Baby. Don't know how that started, but it did. So, there's the holes in the nose, the little nostrils. <laughs> Let's make the dog happy. It doesn't look like he has a smile, so I've got to give him a little, a little more of a smile there. There we go. <laughs> A little smile on the dog. There we go. I didn't have a smile at first. So anyway, so I met this guy, and I had seen him before. He goes to our church, um, but I don't really speak to him. I don't think he goes to the same church service. Like he goes to a different time than Robert and I go to. And uh, the unfortunate thing was I couldn't pet the dog. <laughs> They don't allow you to pet those dogs. At least he didn't. He had a sign on it, don't, please don't pet me. I'm in training, he said. So, maybe this dog has a collar. One of the dogs that I had, I have a funny story to tell you. When Robin and I did the radio show, I would bring my dog into the studio and uh, this is a funny looking dog isn't it and the dog would lay there on the floor next to robin and me as we did the show and when the ups man would come and deliver a package the dog would bark and so the dog always got on the radio because when the dog barked obviously it got to the microphones <laughs> And so the dog kind of became like a local celebrity, you know? And it was fun because everybody knew her name. Her name was Mrs. Clute. Everybody knew Mrs. Clute. Yeah. And so there was a company in town 
that made um, uh, dog collars. And so they sent me some dog collars for Mrs. Clute with her name on it. And it was so much fun to have those collars. <laughs> Let's see. Put another paw here. It is her paw. And then let's have one kind of sticking off to the side, as dogs do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that looks right or not. But there we go. We'll fix anything later on. Let's get the illustration in here first. Okay, another, another piece of this coat. This very fluffy coat. And some huge shoes. Just big old shoes here. decided to paint it all in red the, the sketch part anyway we'll see I will tell you I don't really know exactly what I'm doing when I do these things I'm just having fun let's get his arm down here here we go now he's ringing his bell he's got his hat mm, let me see I didn't give any eyeballs I guess I was waiting Maybe he's looking down at the dog. Or off to the side. Here we go. Here we go. Maybe a little, little bit of hair sticking out. I can always do that later. Alright, there's our sketch. There's our sketch with our dog. <laughs> Oh, yay, yay. All right, let's see if I can get some skin tone on there. Usually orange works okay for most, most of them. All right, let's get some orange on there. Make it darker under the, under the rim of the hat. And some, let's see what this looks like here. Let's lighten that up a little bit. Just let that water do its thing. men outside. Do you hear them? They're emptying a dumpster. There's a there's a barber shop across the street and they have a dumpster and every I don't know if it's every day but quite frequently they empty the garbage. <laughs> I guess that's the that's the way it works, right? You empty the garbage frequently. I empty the garbage frequently. I am the family garbage man. Yes. Yes, I am. It's a proud, I'm proud to be the family garbage man. I'm the guy who takes out the trash. The landfill here, sometimes I drive to the landfill to bring the garbage. And the landfill has, um, next door to it, a shooting range with a with a sheriff's office trains and uh, oh sometimes it's pretty loud too you can hear those guns going off 
All right, let's get that red bell there. Let's see what we can do with this bell. Maybe that's why I did it in red, so I'm gonna keep this bell red. Put a little reflection in it. Go ahead and spread that water around. Yeah, I know sometimes I do landscapes and sometimes I do whatever. I just felt like doing something for children today. This is going to be one of the cards at the art auction. And they, uh, they were talking about it in church yesterday. I'll be honest with you, it's a little embarrassing when we talk about what I'm doing, but that's the way it is. They have to spread the word, right? You can't spread the word. Nobody's going to show up if they don't know about it. So that's, that's an important part of it. In fact, I've had this discussion with you guys on here about selling art. Um, I'm not the best person to ask about selling art, but I do know a little bit about marketing. I mean, I worked in radio for a long time. So I will tell you this, that... Um, marketing is pretty much everything. Uh, you, you're not, you're not going to have any sales if you don't market. So, like when somebody says they have a website for their art, that's step one. That's like opening a store. But if you don't advertise that the store is there, nobody's going to come. So then, how do you advertise? Well. There's the old-fashioned way you pay. You pay for ads, you know, in your local newspaper or on the radio or on TV if you can afford it. But there's also the modern world of um, of um, the social media. Social media, you can just keep posting your art and letting people know what your website is. And if you notice, that's what I do. I don't make a lot of money from it, though, I'll be honest with you, but I don't really try as hard as other people do. And other people do make some good money. I just, I'm retired, and I like painting, and so that's why I do this, but to be honest with you, other people do better financially, speaking. <laughs> Where's the dog? The dog looks kind of silly. It's all right. I'm just waiting for everything to dry so I can keep painting over it. All right, I get a little bit of a little bit of shadow into this bell now. Put a little purple onto it. There's a shadow, a reflection. Just, just a little bit of purple. There we go. A little down the side there. There we go, maybe even a little over here. Oh, huh. I could probably even put some purple here. A little bit. Darken the shadow under his face. Maybe darken the shadow around his eye. All right, let's get some brown on the dog. I think a brown dog. Come on, puppy dog. Help me figure out how to color you in. Just let the water, let the water do its thing. It'll do magic. It's a magic medium. The magic medium of watercolor. I think I think the trick with watercolor is letting it do its thing and then and then directing it. <laughs> like I go, okay, you can do your thing up to a point and then I'm gonna move you around the way I want you to move around. There we go. A little color on the dog. Let's get this dog in shape here.
See, I like the idea that I sketched with the, the watercolor instead of with a pencil because I can I can water it down and then make it disappear or make it blend in. You know. So I this is going to be card number one hundred eighty five. And the reason I'm telling you that is because I'm thinking that after I get done with all 200 cards, that I might shift what I do on this channel so that I am more doing acrylics and watercolor. I mean, well, maybe watercolor, like larger watercolors. But maybe I'll do uh, what I want to say here. Um, oil, oil paintings. Maybe. I haven't made my mind up yet. You know what I really want to do? I think I can pull this off too. I really want to take the easel outside to locations and um, do paintings outside. Do like plain air. You know, out in the out in the woods, in the woods, out in the, uh, oh, we do have woods, out in the forest, out in the forest, the, the Ocala National Forest, maybe I'll do that, as soon as I think about the, the forest, so you know what I think about, I think about bugs, there's so many bugs out there, so I gotta be careful if I'm gonna go out there, gotta bring the bug spray, the off. Whenever I use off, I always think of camping. Because I always used off when I was camping. Keep the bugs off of myself. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. There's so many things you got to think about. Uh, same thing here. All right, dog. I don't want you to just be one blob of color. I have to have some contours to you. Okay, I think I can add some little, little different colors here to his leg. Let me let the water kind of drag it around. I can always darken it. See, he's holding a sign. I guess you could tell that already, right? He's holding a sign that says give. Well, it doesn't say it yet, but it will say it. Give. And you'll be given to love and you'll be loved by someone. election day in the United States. I don't know where you are, but it's election day here. All I have to say about that is I'll be glad when it's over, I guess. I hope. I hope I'm glad. I have no, I have not, I am not smart enough to know. I'm not smart enough to comment on politics. I'm really not. Everybody thinks they are. And I guess everybody has their own opinions. But I'm so influenced by the talking heads on the radio and on the TV, and I'm so influenced by them that I realize that I might not be thinking. I might just be regurgitating what other people say. And I'm not smart enough. So I'll just paint. I'll just paint my little dog here. Okay, little dog. You got a sign hanging around your neck. You got a little boy ringing a bell next to you. You got it made. This little dog has got it made. He's got he's got love. Isn't don't you love when you watch videos of dogs who see their owner coming home 
oh my gosh they just love their people dogs are so unconditional with their love they just love you they love that's where we should be we should just fly into somebody's arms when we see them maybe you do maybe you do we do as humans when we're little my little grandson he still jumps in my arms I suppose that's not going to last forever but he does it now yeah I showed him how to hug I said here's how you hug and I gave him a big hug and now every time I go to see him he gives me a hug the way I taught him which is just a big old a big old hug <laughs> it's funny he grabs my neck and just gives me a big old hug he calls me Papa of course that's what I am, Papa. That's why the channel is called Papa Paints. I really think I started this channel for for him so that one day he would see what Papa did when he retired. Because what Papa did was he got out of the radio business. No hard feelings, just got out of it. And started doing the thing he loved, which was painting. Love painting, Papa loved painting. Papa painted all the time, kids. All the time. I painted even I never had it as a job. Even though I have painted and illustrated for money, but I really haven't done it as a job per se. Is that the right expression per se? I always I say that like I know what it means, but I don't even know what it means. <laughs> dog's not done but he's got a lot of wet paint on so I'm not going to mess with him now I'm going to grab some some of this red and get this guy's coat put some paint on the coat a coat of paint on the coat let the water kind of do its thing here too there we go this there this little water today's Monday so there's a lot of traffic because not yet it, there will be it's only 6 30 in the morning so traffic will start soon and then there'll be more cars out there i live on a pretty busy road into some of those little videos on my phone that's wasting time oh my gosh but I got sucked in like we all do it's a big time waster right big time waster the, those little videos sometimes they make me laugh though my favorites are the dog ones. All right, let me. I'm just gonna give. I don't even know. I'm just coloring in what I think is his shorts or his pants. Let's drag it down here. That's good enough. Let that sit there and dry. All right, let's give the dog some eyeballs. Some some eyes um, let me see make sure I keep 
of reflection in his eye. reflection on there too. A little hint of white right there. <laughs> All right. That's good. to look like a hand painted sign so it's easy it's easy for me to make it look hand painted because I'm hand painting right He's smiling. He's a happy dog. Happy, happy dog. <laughs> My brother is a veterinarian, and he told me once that dogs have natural eyeliner. So I'm going to give this dog some eyeliner. I'm going to give my brows too. So when a dog's eyeliner is pale, it's kind of like when we don't feel well and we get pale. Did you ever hear that before? So our faces tell how we feel and a dog's um, eyeliner can tell you how he feels.
Okay, the dog is coming around. I don't know why I focused on the dog first. I don't know why. I just did. A little dark, a little darker right there. All right, now let's get this little boy all colored in. Move some of these colors around a little bit. Make them just not quite so defined. There we go. Maybe a little dark right here. I want to add some blue or maybe some of this light purple. Yeah, I think I'll need some light purple. That's gonna be the shadow I think on his on his white um, fur. Just create this little bit of a shadow here. So I think if I was going to choose a shadow color for like white, I would use either like a very washed out purple like I'm doing, or maybe a washed out blue. I think that would work. Sometimes it doesn't. You kind of have to play with it a little bit. Sometimes you have to go back to it, and like I'm doing here, and just touch it up, and and then sometimes it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. I hope it works today. Yeah, that's good. Keep some of that pure white. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. I think I'll give him brown shoes. I guess. Brown shoes. Remember that song by the Beatles? An old brown shoe. Baby, I'm in love with you. <laughs> I don't know the whole song. Well, I don't think I know any of the song. Something about brown shoe. And then, baby, I'm in love with you. I don't want to do You have to look it up. I'm never going to do it justice. But anyway, I think George Harrison wrote that one. I was a big Beatles fan when I was younger. I think I still am. The reason I say that is because if I, f if I stumble across a Beatles video on YouTube or whatever, I always stop and watch it. So I must still be a Beatles fan. Still a Beatles fan. After all these years. Still a Beatles fan. Still a Paul, Paul Simon. Simon and Garfunkel fan. Still a Elton John fan. Still a Queen fan. Who else did I like? I like Springsteen. I like uh, Carly Simon. James Taylor. Always put them together because they were married. I actually met her. I met both of them. I met him, but I actually sp stood next to her during his concert, and I spoke to her. That's my claim. That's my, what do, you, what do you call it, a brush with greatness? That's my brush with greatness story. I stood next to Carly Simon at a James Taylor concert. <laughs> you know what I said to her? I said, are you going to sing with him tonight? And she said, no. But then she did. 
So I said, well, I thought you weren't going to say what. That's the only thing I said to her. At that time, they had children, little children, and the little children were there too, so maybe maybe she didn't think she was going to sing with them because she had to watch the kids. And maybe somebody else said, I'll watch the kids, you go sing. I don't know. I'm not part of that circle. That circle. All right, I'll get some red into that hat now. Get that hat nice and red. Here we go. I'll make that darker after it dries. There we go. And see that purple is working ni nicely as a as a shadow color for this white. I think watercolor is a nice medium for ch ch children's books. For illustrating children's books, I think watercolor does a good job. It's a very magical looking medium. Just adding some highlight to the. You know what, let's give them a, a purple mitten. want that to be darker on that side like it's in the shadow okay we'll do some shadows over here too this purple is working out nicely as a shadow color I haven't seen any yet this year. Is, is it too early? When do the the bell ringers start? It, it's got to be soon, right? When they start to go, go by the storefronts and stand there and ring their bell. Those people work so long. Always give them something. Robin always gives them something. Always a little something for the bucket. A little something. Everyone, every I think every year we hear about somebody putting a Kruger end into the bucket. Somebody somewhere. You know what I mean? That gold coin. Isn't that an Australian coin? I think it is. All right, let's give him some eyes. Gonna do the same thing as with the dog. 
Gotta make sure I leave some white spot. That's okay. It'll all work out. No darker right there. right now. It's kind of a mess. Alright, let's get some more darkness over here. More darkness on the shoe. some shadows here. Maybe exaggerated, but let's hope it works out.
what do you think of our picture so far? It's more tedious than you think, right? You think a cartoon is going to be a simple, you know, get it done in 10 minutes. But it doesn't work out that way. And, you know, the end... The idea that you can actually correct some of these things with gouache is always, well, it's always in the back of my mind that, that I can fix some of it. And I'm probably going to fix some of it in a second here. I didn't give the dog a red tongue yet. i got to give that dog a red tongue. Let's see if I can get a, a nice shade of red over here. Mm, this one, I guess. Make it pink. pink tongue with some white highlights Well, there's our, our little child and our dog. And now, I think, if I take a, a brush and start to work the background. The background is going to be snowy, but I'm going to use blue, like a lot of places. Let's start with the darker places. Right between them, make it dark, very dark, dark blue. Because we want this to be snowy. We want it to be a snowy day and to donate to them, to the Salvation Army, I assume, because he's got a red belly, he's got the word give. So I don't know the story here. I'm just make I'm just painting it. Alright, just no real definition here. Just kind of give a background. It might be snow. You know what I want to do? Before I get to the end, I want to spread some of this out on the back of the card. Let it dry. I almost always do that last, but I think I'll do it now. Maybe it'll dry while I'm working on the rest of the card. It does give a nice feel to the back of the card, by the way, when I do this. So it's real nice. So, for those wondering, I'm using Strathmore paper. I, used to, I bought it off of Amazon. Yeah, that's good. All right, no more of that. That's good enough. All right, now I just want to... Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I think I'm just trying to create this cold, snowy... Kind of a mixture of white and blue, so it has such this feeling of snow drifts and we'll get snowflakes. Snowflakes is the fun part, right? Somebody asked me one time, "How do you stop the paper from buckling?" Well, the answer is I don't. The paper, this paper anyway, buckles when it gets wet. I've I've read that some other paper, maybe more expensive paper, doesn't buckle. But here's the here's the thing. 
it only buckles for a while. It, it'll flatten out after a while. So don't don't worry too much about the buckling. It's only annoying, like right now, see how it's buckling? So that would be a little bit of an annoying, right? But just have fun with it. If I have one message, if I have one message about art, it's have fun. Just have fun with your art. I know a girl here in my town and she, all of her art looks like she has fun with it. It is just so fun. She draws, paints like very big faces and very big teeth on people and she just looks like she has a blast doing it. Now I'm gonna try to use some different shades of blue. What I wanna do is try to create some vertical lines here because there might be some building or something behind him I don't know exactly what it is I don't I don't want to know what it is I'm just making it up as I go along but what I do want is dark so I want dark behind him and then different shades of light and dark so I'll do a vertical line here Probably will come back and add some white highlights with the gouache. There we go. Now let's just spread that a little bit. It has no real rhyme or reason. There is no, like with the dog and the boy, I, I had some real, you know, I had some real specific things I wanted to do. But, um, with the background and the, the foreground actually. I'm just kind of having fun. There we go. Spread that out, maybe even put a little bit of black over here. Don't know why. Don't have any reason for it. But I'm going to mix it with the blues. Just having fun. Get some of this light blue and bring it over here. Different shades of blue. do its thing, let it kind of live by its own, its own, here we go, let that just blend into that, just have fun with the blooms, the blooms. Just a, just a blur, like every, like, like, you know how the the depth of field on a camera. You can make things blurry in the background. That's kind of what I'm trying to do here. There we go. Something that's not defined. And then they got these, these snow drifts here. And they're in the snow.
put some lines. I don't know what they are. I'll let that dry. I'll let that dry. And I'm going to turn off the camera now and dry it. You see how when that dried, it's no longer buckled? All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I have dried it. And to dry it, I used this hot air blower. It's a little bit too hot because it's supposed to be. It's designed for um, shrink wrap. But I used it on my paper. In fact, it's kind of hot. It could actually burn the paper. All right, so I'm going to use a little bit of white gouache now. And I'm going to try to make this snow look a little bit more snowy. And I'm going to also try to fix some little areas in the picture that I, that I feel I could have done a better job on. Look at that little tiny brush. I have a little tiny brush that I like to use. And it's actually bent. Hmm. I don't see it in here. Oh, here it is. Here it is. You see, it's got a little bend in it. Can you see that? <laughs> but I love it. All right, let's... First of all, I want to fix the dog's eye. I feel like the dog's eye is a little bit too... It could be better. Same thing with the other eye. It's a little bit googly now, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't mean for that to happen. All right. Um, let's put a little, let me fix his eye too. A little bit more white on his eye, I think. Now in, in an actual portrait, you know, you don't do white for the eyes, you do. You do like a light blue or or blue gray or Payne's gray, but I think with with cartoons it's okay to use pure white. Make his smile bigger. Big old teeth. Just having a <laughs> oh gosh, that might be too big. All right, let's put some highlights in it. Clothing, highlights on the bell. And then the fun part is going to be putting snow on here. There we go. Put a reflection on his tongue. starting to like it. Right now I'm going to put some snow on them, like the snow has settled on their clothing. They've got snow on them. The snow has landed on them. It's landed on the dog. It's landed on the boy. They've got frost hanging from their faces. <laughs> Just having fun. Bottom line is, have fun. One message for you, have fun. What are you doing today? I don't know. Just have fun. Don't have fun at somebody else's expense either. I don't need to tell you that. You guys are smart. You guys are kind. I love the nice kind comments you leave. Oh my God. It makes my day. I don't think I've had anybody be mean to me on here, which I love that. I've had constructive criticism. That's not the same as being mean. No, that's actually loving. Yeah, somebody gives me some criticism that is meant to be 
positive, meant to be constructive. Oh, don't ever get offended by that when that happens to you. <laughs> the dog <laughs> put snow everywhere. It's just snowing on these people and these on the, on the dog. Let's put some snow on the sign. Yeah, let's put some snow on the sign, on the ear. Maybe even an icicle hanging down here and there. What do you think? Put some snow on that sign. Yeah, make it a snow-covered sign. They've been sitting out in the snow so long, they've got snow on them. <laughs> He's got snow on his shoe, too. Let's put snow everywhere. Snow on the dog's leg. On the back of the dog is some snow falling. Some icicles hanging down off of his ears. <laughs> That's a silly idea, isn't it? You would bring your dog inside if your dog actually had icicles on his ears. You don't want your dog to have icicles on his ears. In a cartoon, it's okay. There's an icicle hanging off of that bell. How about that? Yeah, oh, that looks nice. <laughs> icicles everywhere. Snow on the dog. This is kind of fun. I think this is the most fun part of this painting, is putting this snow on everything. All right. I think I'm ready for the snowflake part of the picture. What do you think? You like it so far? All right, here comes the fun part. Snowflakes come in. Come on, here they come. It's starting to snow. It's beginning to look a lot like winter. It's beginning to look a lot like winter. Everywhere I go. That's a song I've known all my life. Well, except Christmas is the word. Christmas. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Oh man, I'm gonna cry. That song brings me so many memories. All Christmas songs do. Oh man. Well, I love doing these cards. You know, somebody's going to get this card and... You know what I want? I want somebody to get this card and smile. You know, this is for an auction, right? And I know that the idea of the auction is to raise money for the church. But to be honest with you, I don't care if they give it away. I want somebody to enjoy it. I want somebody to say, Oh, that card just makes me smile. That little boy and that little dog. And by the way, the, the reference photo is, is one of my own pieces of art from years ago. Not that long, a couple of years ago. I, I created these characters called Winter Kinder. And in fact, Robert and I did a couple books featuring the Winter Kinder kids, if you want to look them up. But, so I actually have a picture like this. I'm using. I'm replicating sort of a picture I did before. All right, kids, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. This is card number 185. You know what? I'm not happy with that dog's eye still. I gotta come back to it. All right, let me go back to it. Let me clean the brush. some black paint right there. Right there, make a bigger eye.
Yeah, more. A little more. A little more darkness here. Okay, what do you think now? Maybe a little more red in the top lip here. Whoops, I overdid that one. All right, now I gotta correct the correction. I get it. I'll get it eventually. Let me just put a little bit more highlight in his eye. And let me fix that. What I just did. I made a mistake right there. Here we go. All right. I know it's a cartoon, but it's a winter kinder card. It's not a card until I fold it down. So let me fold it, make it a card, and then we'll call it done. What do you think? Well, that was a fun one, right? Did you enjoy that one? All right. Give. All right, I think I'm done. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for your kind words. All right, bye.